In this video, we're going to turn our FBX file into a NIF file using Outfit Studio. Let's go ahead and open up Body Slide. I'm going to double click our Body Slide folder. And just go ahead and double click Body Slide and then select Outfit Studio. With Outfit Studio open, I'll click File, New Project, and you can leave it on from template and just click Next and click Finish. Give it a second to set up its sliders. And once it's done, we'll come up to Shape and we will select Import Shape from FBX. Now with this selected, we'll go to our desktop and we will select our outfit game ready that we exported in the last video. Go ahead and click Open. Now it's gonna say, give it a name, just go ahead and click OK and just click OK. Now the body will most likely be in the correct position. Here's our body with the deleted faces in the center. But if I scroll around here just by holding down my right mouse button, you'll see that Maya exports them in an interesting location. It's up here, this is our outfit, our custom model, and we need to put it here. So to put it there, we're gonna go ahead and select our low poly game 001. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say rotate shape. I'm gonna type in 90. And I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to right click on it again. I'm going to say Move Shape. I'm going to go down to on the Z axis and type in minus 120 and click OK. Now it's where it's supposed to be. And if you see CBBE, I click the eye on that, you can see that they're in the same spot. And that's all we have to do there. Now, another thing you're going to want to do is select your low poly game 001. You want to come to Shape and select Smooth Seam Normals, which it seems that it's already checked. If that's not checked, make sure you select it and then come down on shape and select smooth seam normals. It seems to be automatically selected in this version of Outfit Studio. So this is actually ready to export. So we'll go ahead and file, export, export NIF. Now we're going to go sh to our desktop and I'm going to actually replace the vault suit for testing because Everybody typically has a vault suit in their game, so it's an easy file to use for testing. So I'm gonna call this the same name as the vault suit in game. So here I have open our default extracted folder. This is the one that we extracted before in a previous video when we extracted the BSA and the vault suit for females is called the female vault 111 suit. So I'm gonna name our mesh the same as that. And pay attention to things like capitalization. I don't think they matter, but I usually name them the same. So female vault 111 SUI, whoops, kind of hopped off there for some reason, SUIT. And I'm gonna save that on the desktop and just go ahead and click save. Give it a second and it should pop up right here on my desktop. And there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that folder. We still have to texture our object, but in the next video, we're just gonna go ahead and use a temporary material just to test it in game and make sure that everything's working. Then we'll texture it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below the video and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.